All right, I'm gonna be talking about sales order uh, to production order linking. Um, Acumatica has consistently added functionality that's targeted to improve the customer's usability of the software, as you've heard um, all of us pretty much say. Um, the target areas are where they can improve process or reduce the number of clicks for users so that customers can be more productive in their tasks. Um, people who are familiar with Macola linking a sales order to a production order was called force demand. Uh, and it was a one-way flow. And if um, you had to change something, if the customer changed their minds, you had to go delete the sales order and the production order. If the production order had already started to be produced, then you had a lot more complication. You would have to complete the production order and then disassemble it or um, redirect it to something else. And it was um, a little bit complicated. Once you got those connected, you couldn't unconnect them. So uh, in previous versions of Acumatica, uh, a production order could be linked to a sales order only when the production order was directly created to the sales order line um, in, in similar way to way, the way the force demand worked. Um, but in 2021 R1, the ability to link an existing production order to a sales order line has been implemented, which allows you for two-way linking now. So a good example is that this ability could be beneficial for organizations that create production orders during material requirements planning, and then need to link that production order to a sales order line that generated the demand. So you can connect that production order to the sales order that MRP told you you needed to make. So a, a user can link the existing production order uh, to the sales order line by specifying the production order for the sales order line on the sales orders form or by specifying a sales order line on the production order form. So you can go in um, either way. So just to show you how the creation works, I can go in here. And of course it timed out on me. So I can go in and take a look at an order and I can see that I have an item. It's marked for production which is one of the requirements that uh, an item be made. And this is not currently uh, mapped to a production order. I can go up and click create production orders and it will go create a production order for me to make that material. So this is the, the, the original way of how it would flow through and allow me to create those production orders. So you can see that I now have a production order 64 that it created for me for that item. I can also go now look at my production orders for that item, and I can see that I have 64 out here. If I click on the production order itself, on my references, I see that sales order number. And I can go back to that sales order number by clicking the pencil and get back into the details. So in either side, I can click on links that take me back to what I need to see if I need to cross-reference those. So that's the Ford method. And let's say that I already had one connected and I didn't want it connected anymore. Uh, and the addition that's been made in 2021 is that I now have a remove link option. So I can see that I have this sales order number linked. I can now click that remove link. It's gonna ask me if, I want, if I'm sure that I wanna do that. And now I can go take that off. So now I have broken that link. You'll see at this level, um, the customer ID and the customer name and the order number are gone. And if I went and looked at that sales order number, I no longer have a link uh, to the production order out here on this tab. So that's incredibly powerful in that it allows me to connect and disconnect orders. I can also go into an order that I already had created. I can look at my references and now I have a link sales order. So the link sales order is only going to work for orders that meet a certain criteria, and it's the same for production orders. So a sales order uh, can't be assigned, uh, the canceled back order completed status, uh, the production order can't be already linked to a sales order line, uh, the production order can't be completed, canceled, or closed. So it has, it has to be uh, in, in, in a planned process, and you have to be... Um, you, ha you can't have already started producing this in order for it to work. The stock item also has to have specific requirements. It has to be this, the stock item, same stock item that's on the production order and the sales order line. So I can't have different items to, to run that. And um, that stock item can't be a configurable item. So on that SO uh, line, the mark for production checkbox has to be selected as well. And, uh, and then all of it will align and it will make that order a qualified order. So I can select that order 
and click save. And I've now connected that order back. I can click on uh, any production order that has that, uh, those characteristics and I can link those sales orders. Now, if I don't have any sales orders to link, obviously you won't see any in there. So if I identify that and I needed to create a sales order, I would have to identify what, uh, what was already connected to it so that I could go remove those links. Um, this gives you a lot of power in your abilities to plan production and then link them back to sales orders and create specific allocations uh, for customers so that I can make those materials. I don't have to have a production order that is exactly the same quantity. I can have a production order for 100 pieces and I can have a sales order for 40, and the additional 60 will just go into um, inventory. Uh, the allocation would still remain on the, uh, on the sales order for the 40 for the amount that I produced. And that is sales order to uh, production order linking and your capabilities to remove them.